it's been I'm back <laughs> So yes, I'm back and it looks like I'm a little rusty. Not that I was ever, you know, quite polished <laughs> before. And it seems to me like it's been a while because I haven't really had a whole lot to post. I have been pretty consistent at giving you snippets of past tutorials because a lot of times people don't watch the whole video. They just watch about two minutes. So I took that time off and I just gave you a two minute videos. If you're a regular here, thank you so much for watching these videos. If you like those snippets, let me know. I thought I would try to do them like on a Thursday and still give you a regular Monday video. Um, and then what else? Oh, the reason I'm here. I'm doing a bathroom renovation. Yay! I am sitting here in the bathroom. If you follow me on Instagram, then you learned about the renovation over the weekend. I know this is a sewing channel, but I did a poll to see would people watch a renovation video from me? And it was 100% yes. So all 14 of you better be watching this video, okay? So I'm just gonna go through uh, some of the things that I picked up already. As you can see, the bathroom is all cleared out countertop is going to go, the floor is going to go, the light fixtures will go, all the tile is coming out and we're going to change like the doorknobs. The shower head is staying. Okay, well let me start from the beginning. The shower head started to drip, then it began to trickle and then we believe that the shower pan may have already been cracked. It started to leak downstairs in the kitchen. Someone came, they fixed it, but then they told us we couldn't use the shower. We needed to have the bathroom gutted. Oh my gosh, the trauma. And so we've been sharing the bathroom with my 10 year old. So you know how that's going. He says he's uncomfortable with it. So it's time for us to get our stuff together, okay? Now, first we're starting with the tile. This is the tile that we are going with. It's larger, we'll have fewer grout lines, yay. We have this kind of pebble, I can't remember what it's called, like sliced pebble, will be the floor. This is the bull nose that goes around the edge of the shower to kind of finish it off. Um, what do we need to know next? This, I don't have an actual picture of the vanity, but this is the style we are going for. There'll be a tower in the middle so that we can get all that clutter off of the counter and have some storage and tuck all that away and an individual mirror for each of us. I'm looking at this mirror from Hobby Lobby, uh, but I don't really know if that'll fit. So I'm probably gonna do some measurements. Yeah, so these are the towel rings that I got. We're going with this uh, brush nickel. This is the faucet, which I thought this gooseneck, I was like, that is so big, but it's the master bathroom. I didn't want anything short like what we had before. I wanted something a little bit larger because a lot of times I'm also trying to stick, you know, a bucket or my head <laughs> underneath there. And so this will help with that. Um, it's, it's pretty. I like it. So that's the handle for the, uh, for the faucet. Okay. Nothing major. It's a good weight though. I like that. And then for the tub fixture, we're gonna change that out as well. And it looks very similar. Brush nickel, roundish. This one is not very square, but this was the closest I could find that looked good to that. Sometimes within a set, you don't like both the tub fixture and the faucet fixture, or they don't have it in stock. So I just kind of went with what I thought looked good. I hope that is not a mistake. I really have no idea because I've never done this before. Um, so I'm gonna ask you guys, uh, should I have searched for same brand faucet and tub fixture? Even though I don't even know what the one in the shower is, so it's not gonna match anyway. Don't worry about it. Don't waste your time because it's already done. Okay. Rugs. I thought I wanted a big rug in here. I think I would like that very much. But you have your little bath rugs. 
I picked this one just because it had some gray in it. This may be close to the color of the cabinet. And then I picked a white one because that makes sense, right? So as far as accent colors in this bathroom, right now there aren't any. Well, but this window you see behind me, it looks very blue right now in the camera but this is what it looks like close up. Um, it's got these shades of orange and darker red, but I really like it because orange is my favorite color. I thought that this shower curtain might be nice. Now I tend to shy away from stuff like this because I don't know, I'm afraid to commit to color, but this is something I can change and it goes with the window. And um, I just thought it was pretty. So we'll see if that works. Starting to think about decor that will sit on the counter. And I wanted that amber glass, but it's just so common. I still like it though. Um, you know, the ones that look like the apothecary stuff. But then I saw these at Target. And it's got this ribbed look, which is kind of the same color it's a little bit lighter more orange and almost like a brush nickel but you know it was only three dollars so that's a good deal but i think those kind of look at that i think that goes look at me matching okay so i got two of those one for my hubby one for me i need to find something else to sit up there that's pretty i don't know i could do like leaves leaves like the eucalyptus branches or I like grasses but I'm not gonna do fake flowers mm -mm. we're not gonna do that okay and so that's it for my bathroom oh, I mean our bathroom we'll let him use it so you saw everything this is what I need from you Instagram link is in the description box below I am gonna need to make some other decisions before the next video goes up. So you can also, on Instagram, look at my stories because I'll be asking questions and I can really use your help. And yeah, that's it, okay? Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Our channel is growing slowly but organically. I'm okay with that, I like that. And, um, and also, um, we'll be getting back to sewing after all this renovation stuff is done. So, okay. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you on Instagram or I'll see you next Monday.